huge, huge breakfast. That's my breakfast. I got my eggs, oatmeal with blueberries, decaf coffee. That's what I gotta eat for meal one today. Well, I successfully laid around for about an hour and Skylar just called and got off work early, which makes me happy because we get to spend some time together and it's actually really sunny outside. Let's see, the sun is coming out and I finished my ridiculous breakfast. So now I'm gonna shower and we'll see what we'll get up to. I still will have to go to the gym at some point, but I'm not gonna worry about it for now. So Skylar took me to Jericho Park, which is a beach in Vancouver that we like to go to. We are very lucky because it's actually a beautiful day and it's not even that cold. Bam! Ooh. We're just going to hang out until we get cold or the sun goes down. We are literally finding the sunniest spot to stand so that we can get all of the sun. <laughs> ah. Over there it's too shady. Over there yeah, is too yeah. far. This is the kind of weather that I want to have every winter, every day of winter. Where in the world is it like this in winter where it's not, mm. it's not too cold, but it's cold enough you're wearing a scarf and a jacket, Nowhere. but it's sunny. You know where it is like this? Argentina. Argentina is like this. You just wear like a warm jacket in the winter <laughs> and it's clear blue skies and sunny. Let's that's, move. That's Argentina, go. here we go. Okay. I'm just walking to the gym. It is a Sunday and usually I take Saturday Sunday off but we have a bunch of holidays or the gym is closed so girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. It's so beautiful today. I love the fact that there's no more snow. So yeah I'm going to I think do a leg day get that out of the way this week and one of my cardio sessions as well and there are plans to go out tonight because Skylar's DJing, so that's happening. Last workout of 2017 is complete. I didn't record anything because I actually just wanted to be really present and focused on my workout, and it felt awesome. The gym was almost completely empty, which I love. One thing I just think about when I'm at the gym and sometimes when I'm struggling to get there is that especially now that I'm doing this competition I think about myself on my competition date I want to feel when I reach that date that I know that I did everything I possibly could to present the best physique that I can present it might not be competitive with other people other competitors may have been training longer than me genetically might have better physiques than me but as long as I know that up until that moment, I gave it my all, I tried my best, I did everything I could. That's going to bring me a lot of peace of mind when the day rolls up. And I just want to feel proud of myself. So today I put in the work, tomorrow we all get to have a day off. And so I just want to wish everyone a happy and safe New Year's Eve. I hope it was a good one because you're not going to see this until it's over. But I'm excited to see what 2018 will bring life is good. Well, I've been pretty bad at vlogging. It's the third now. The truth is that I went out on New Year's with my friends and definitely indulged in some drinks. And there was definitely an internal struggle that went on because obviously I'm in contest prep and that's not something generally I should be doing my coach would not be impressed but I just bargained with myself basically until I decided to just go and do it in the end it really wasn't worth it for me I had a great time I had a really good time with my friends but as of January 1st I basically 
felt like I provided myself what I like to call contrast when you're feeling not so great about a decision it's just your subconscious reminding you of what you really want and what you don't want so I was grateful for my contrast on January 1st and I feel really excited confident and ready to continue my journey alcohol free definitely until my contest but perhaps even further than that just really doesn't do anything for me so that's that and of course I'm on my way to the gym right now doing some back and biceps my coach gave me a few new exercises to do which I'm really excited about and so that's what's happening The reality of bodybuilding. Food, 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 food. Basically all I do is buy food, cook food, clean the dishes in which I cook the food, do laundry in the clothes that I worked out in, eat more food, do more dishes, clean it up, work out, do laundry. This is my life. So since well, since I started this competition, one thing that I've been struggling a lot with is the fact that the end goal of this is that I'm going to be standing on a stage in a bikini with a bunch of experts in the field of like physique, judging my work, my effort, but also judging like my grace and posing ability and all of this, which I don't have quite yet. And I'm viewing the posing part and the smiling for the crowd and the personality on stage as all things that I would have to train for just like in any other competitive sport that I've done. It's just nerve wracking because you are gonna be lined up with a bunch of very fit human beings that are all genetically gifted in different ways, that have all responded to training differently, that have all been involved in the sport for different lengths of time. When you compete in a, a sport, like soccer or roller derby or something like that that I've done. You're out there, you're with a team, you're working together, your success is kind of measured on a point scheme. There's a lot of black and white in terms of like you score a point or you don't, you win or you lose. Whereas this sport is extremely subjective and I really have no idea what it's going to be like and I don't know who's going to be standing up there with me. There's a lot of un answered unknown blurry kind of parts to this which no bueno for me I'm putting total trust in my coach and just kind of remembering that i'm doing this for fun and this is a fun thing and that i'm just learning a lot too so yeah it is early and we have our bags packed 
We are boiling some eggs for the flight. I packed some almonds. We're having some oatmeal. So we're keeping it healthy so far. And our friend is coming to pick us up in about 45 minutes. I'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog. When I film again, we will be in Mexico.